we speak <clears throat> as an aspect of the society collective. We designate us as the idea of Ringo, simply as a reference point, for we represent, in this sense, a collective both of, if you will, Sasani entities and, uh, if you will, higher density Sasani emanations, as well as the connectivity to many other different so called etheric civilizations, as they are specifically tuned, if you will, to the conduit, therefore, being this type, if you will, of a translator interface in this sense, serving in this way at our and your excitement <clears throat> in each and every now and also within this communication thus then we are most joyous in this now to share with you one particular idea lore of tactic history as you may relate to it from your current framework from your current timeline in a sense simply as an offering simply as a perspective for you to understand more about yourself it does then being the idea of if you will a past occurrence a past quality of what you would deem to be the pleiadian collective this does then being the topic of the idea of imbalance in positive polarity an idea that many of you may actually be quite familiar with even though this may not be too obvious for some of you the idea does then being, if you will, an overemphasis on positive ideas, in that sense, expansive ideas, yet in actuality, simultaneously ignoring, if you will, the idea and the positive effects of limitation and the positive and constructive ways of how you can use negative energies. For we would like to share with you that you are now in this sense, within this frame within this transitional period of what you would understand to be third to fourth density yet in many ways in actuality to completely if you will from our perspective complete the journey complete the lesson of the third density it very much process that you may call individuation for you understand that if you will second density consciousness still resides within this if you will dissolved state of very much a collective self-understanding the third density does then bringing with it the understanding of oneself as only oneself in that sense if you will an individual even if you will clearly <clears throat> let us say clearly defined and with a clear limitation and within that sense, clear borders in relation to other entities. That is one of the aspects of third density. And now you are bridging that aspect to the idea of fourth density, which is, if you will, in many ways, the density of love, the realm of the heart, where then again, you are reconnecting yourself from all that is, but this only truly happening after this individuation process has occurred, which in many ways actually requires you to make conscious choices about what you prefer. And these do not have to be in that sense, choices of negative or destructive ideas. Yet it also includes the idea of in some way, shape or form, consciously choosing your focus. First of all, if you will integrating the negative ideas, expanding yourself to be willing, if you will, and excited to look at all the so-called shadows but then upon integrating them, also being able to individuate yourself in the sense of simply clearly choosing what you prefer to believe. And this to some extent also includes this idea of if you will quote unquote negative aspects for while you understand them to be within yourself, you're still making a clear choice to who and what you prefer to be in each and every now. <clears throat> And as in the Pleiadians, if you will, had quite a few challenges with this idea in their so-called past, where they were in that sense overextending themselves into these particular realms without, if you will, truly being balanced out. Thus, in many ways, you could say they were in actuality blind on one eye. 
people blind to the negative ideas for they were not willing yet to look at them in a neutral way and doesn't employ them in a positive way which doesn't this if you will limited perspective led them to this idea <clears throat> of an imbalance as you understand now in their current manifestation this has been reintegrated so this is also if you will for some of you a journey that you may find yourself on to some extent you may find some similarities within your own life you may find examples of human entities exhibiting some of these challenges within their own life so thus by referencing this story and all other associations that come to your mind as we speak of this idea may simply assist you to look at those topics from if you will a higher perspective from a neutral perspective understand that also with these challenges you are not alone and you may very well connect also to us and also the Pleiadian collective in that sense to glean more of a feeling and more information about these ideas at the same time we are welcoming you to share any statement or any questions that you may have in this or any other regard <clears throat> Thank you, and thank you for coming in this way as a, as a singer being, so we can call you by name also. What what comes to my mind is, it seems to me somewhat paradoxical, but how would I react to, or how would I solve the, this tendency to focus on uh, positive and uh, ignoring negative, and I would say stop uh, labeling anything as negative and then then you can accept everything what would you say to that <laughs> the process that you are undergoing to define more and more ideas in a positive way at the same time to clearly be able to discern if you will the mechanical qualities in a sense of positive and negative energy for you understand that even in many ways the most advanced civilizations while they are able to see everything is neutral, why they are able, if you will, to unconditionally love anything and everything that they encounter and empathize, and in many ways include it as an understanding within themselves. There is still, if you will, even to a very minor extent, if you will, a remnant of mechanically negative energy remaining simply because they are still choosing to have a particular perspective can you follow this idea <clears throat> yes some somewhat what, what i was actually asking is if i stop uh, you know th uh, things that that uh, people do and i recognize them as negative and then i'm looking for positive way how to see it uh, so that i can extract positive meaning out of it so this, this is what i meant let us say the most simple and potentially relatable example that we may give may be that in actuality for many of you in some cases if you will the quote unquote let us say <clears throat> termination of a particular relationship simply not seeing a certain person anymore yes definitely so i mean even in the relationships where where some where, where one uh, partner is repeating the same negative behavior and i've run out of uh, ways how to explain to this uh, partner how to uh, what what it's what it's actually about uh, then my reaction is well let it let it just be there smile don't react even if it was uh, just me uh, coming to this place of not not having negative reaction to it or any reaction at all <laughs> exactly in this way you can even discern that in truth any and all manifestation may serve you in precisely this way if you will to allow you more easily to understand that you do not in actuality need to be triggered by anything or anyone <clears throat> thank you yes <clears throat> you're always free in that sense to choose your response and from a neutral perspective, of course, you can then be most conscious of how you wish to respond. <clears throat> I see. 
Are we on point? <clears throat> yes. And uh, another question that I had was uh, how uh, how to approach myself uh, when sometimes it seems that I'm not able to concentrate or on one thing, and I'm uh, kind of multitasking. Sometimes I do it del deliberately because I, I believe that I really can do that. And and what I've heard that we should, uh, in quotes. <laughs> uh, Interesting choice of words. <laughs> yes, uh, that we sh that we should uh, be like uh, concentrating on one thing to extract everything that we could out of it. And uh, I find that true too. <laughs> no. That sometimes I realize when I do not multitask while watching a channeling or something, and I simply concentrate on it fully, uh, then then I extract much more from that. But I'm not uh, I'm I'm not able to do that uh, always. And uh, how how should I approach this? You know, or what? what how how would I alleviate you know this like tension to e either focus more on the thing or or uh, to uh, you know, multitask and, and do not care about it. <laughs> well, first let us ask: Could it truly be this and that? <laughs> yes, I know it can always, uh, but I still haven't found a way how to put this. this we thing. would suggest that, as you have, if you will, discussed, there are many different layers within these communications, many different intricacies. Just as if you would, if you will listen to a musical piece. There are many layers in that sense. There are many different types of dynamics to be discovered, contained within the multidimensionality of any, if you will, channeling communication. In truth, any manifestation in your reality contains many of these layers. So you may simply for yourself, again, see, if you will, this apparent, let us say, limitation, this apparent, if you will, negative idea, of in that sense not completely focusing positively on only one topic, on only one channeling as you're listening to it. But now, define that, if you will, lesser degree of attention in a positive way, where you can simply understand that even if you are multitasking, first of all, many of your own aspects are actually accessing and processing the information potentially also without your conscious awareness. But at the same time, even only considering your conscious aspect, you would then, if you will, merely let us say, pick up on certain concepts, pick up on certain words, pick up on certain formulation, certain frequencies, truly, certain tonality, and may not, if you will, potentially fully grasp all that you could grasp had you listened to it in this full, if you will, focused way. Yet, this, if you will, other type of multitask attention <clears throat> is simply a different approach to extract different information. And you can always trust that in whatever way you engage with any channeling idea or any other idea you're interested in, the level and degree of attention that you are giving it in any given now is, of course, as always, the perfect, if you will, setting for you. In that now, which you also know is that you are free to change and increase or decrease your focus in any given now, simply, most effortlessly, by following your own path of highest excitement and very least resistance. <clears throat> Can you relate to this idea? Wonderful. Yes, you, you put it together all that very nicely and and I believe in the un in conscious and unconscious way I, it, it really sunk deep. Thank you. <laughs> so relax and understand even the multitask idea is if you will simply another way to, to experience a particular idea and that may be if you will the most relevant way for you to experience in that now and at the same time also consider the synchronicity of the multitasking in that sense for anyways you understand you're doing many 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 things at once on many 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 different levels so your physicalized multitasking simply is a representation of that idea so while you may look out your window or read a book even 
while listening to a channeling, for example, you are still within the complete synchronicity of yourself. It is all interconnected. So this may be another idea that you're actually in that sense, teaching yourself through that particular methodology. Perfect, wonderful, yes. So see it in that way and simply enjoy the totality and enjoy it in the way that you prefer it to be. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. And it's really, uh, it, it's, it feels good. It brings it oh, it feels more free. <laughs> As well. <clears throat> Can you tell us something about you specifically? Uh, how we will, how would we recognize you from other members of your society? Is there something special about you? <clears throat> Well, if you will, you would recognize <clears throat> correctly stated, if you will ask, we are simply serving, if, if you will, as a designation, as an interface, as a type of, if you will, collection of ideas, as a collection of different thought streams. Does then, if you will, in some ways, you could even say an artificially created consciousness out of, if you will, many different aspects, both containing mainly, if you will, the idea of the Sasani, but also the idea of different other civilizations, and thus then serving as this idea of a defined, again, positively defined, if you will, representation of this collection of energies. Can you relate to this idea? <clears throat> yes, I understand. Is what you mentioned uh, or name ring when I imagined a specific uh, semi physical being. Uh, is this just my translation of the energy, or, or is there someone who uh, potentially we could meet and, and shake hand with? It would suggest that there is not only one being you could meet, but there are many different beings in this way co creating this interaction. And I see, I understand, yes. yes I th then I wanted to know uh, more about that, that one specific uh, uh, representation of the overall consciousness, which is the Sasani guy. <laughs> Can you share more about him or you in him? <laughs> There was a name given uh, through Raphael, uh, and uh, I want to know more about that specific being that is uh, that is connecting to Raphael and, and who has given him name to go by. Yes, the idea being that in this now, this, if you will, being the designation of a collection of energies of many different beings in this way. <clears throat> well, I would suggest that while there may be some, if you will, variation in the physical appearance of Sasani entities, for some of you, if you will, for an untrained eye, if you will, this may be quite difficult to discern on a physical level, yet you could certainly, if you will, upon increasing, in a sense, the resolution both of your visual acuity and also of your understanding and sensing of frequency, you can certainly also sense, if you will, differentiations between the different members of the Sasani society. <clears throat> Yet, what you would primarily recognize in any and all cases if you, is, if you will, the overwhelming energy of excitement which is, if you will, the main cultural element, if you will, shared within the synchronicity of the now between all of our race. <clears throat> Perfect. That was that was the answer. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, we thank you. How would I stay in the flow? Well, simply put, by never defining that you could possibly be out of it. Perfect. You are successfully manifesting your reality, are you not? Yes. Space and time are flowing through you, are they not? Yes. You are within the flow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Allow this to be obvious to you in each and every now, and do not put any expectation on what that flow ought to look like. 
And then you can recognize that that which is, is part of that flow. Because then by not judging yourself in that moment, you will flow into that. You then will flow, call your flow state much more easily and smoothly. I understand. That makes perfect sense. Thank you. You are most welcome. We would simply like to thank you at this time for establishing this communication in this sense, for being open to the reception of the information that we may share with you, that we may in actuality share through all of you, for you understand that in particular these ideas of channeling states are truly a most co-creative process. It is not only one entity if you will accessing our frequency, it is in truth any and all of those listening in, whether if you will quote unquote live or merely quote unquote live within their own synchronicity, whenever they may listen to any idea of a recording, you are actually tapping into the very same frequency yourself. So we are in this sense co creatively together with you, together with the conduit, together with us, and truly together with many different beings creating these types of communications in that sense. Each and every one of us, each and every one of you, all of us together, providing different pieces of the puzzle in that sense, completing the mosaic of all that is. So we thank you for being willing to again, more and more see the complete picture <clears throat> and wish you a most exciting and fun journey always within the now <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Yeah.